in today's video, I'm going to go over the best method for how you can get as many special Pokeballs in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet as you want. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. Now, in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, there are nine special Pokeballs that we have access to. There are seven Apricorn Balls that you can get access to, as well as two other special Balls that are exclusively available within these games. One of the main methods for getting access to these special Pokeballs is by hitting certain benchmarks when you are completing your Pokedex. You get a certain number of Pokemon, you will get a reward for these, and throughout these benchmarks, some of these rewards are going to end up being these special Pokeballs. So eventually, when you do come complete your Pokedex, you're going to end up getting eight Pokeballs. They're going to be the Fast Ball, the Lure Ball, the Heavy Ball, the Dream Ball, the Moon Ball, the Beast Ball, and the Friend Ball. But of course, you will be missing the Love Ball. It is available in the games, but it is not accessible through this method. But there are two other methods in this game that allow you to get additional special Pokeballs for you to go out and capture Pokemon with in your games. First one is going to be the Ace Academy Tournament. Whenever you win the tournament, you are going to be given a reward. Although the chances of getting one of these special Pokeballs through this method is extremely low. You're going to have a 0.1% chance of being rewarded one of these special Pokeballs on completing. So you're either going to have to be very lucky or do an absolutely insane amount of runs in these tournaments. But there is a more consistent way of doing this and a way faster method that we're going to go over in today's video. You will not be able to get the Beast Ball this way, but the seven Apricorn Balls that are accessible with in these games as well as the dream ball are available for you to get at the auction house in Porto Marinada. So once you are in game you're going to want to head over to this Pokemon Center right here located on your map and once at this location you're going to want to head down to Porto Marinada. Now to access the auction house you're going to have to complete the gym challenge for the water type gym leader. Once you've done this, you will have full access to this auction house. And within this auction house, when you have access to it, you're going to have three main vendors that you're going to be primarily looking for. The three in the middle of this area are going to have interchanging items. So you'll be able to come back on a daily basis and the items here will have changed. But after a number of hours testing this method, it seems like the items actually change based on a full in-game cycle. So not a real world cycle, a full cycle of one full day in the game. So when day changes to night and then night turns to day, in your game of Pokemon Skull and Violet, that is a full day cycle, which lasts approximately 72 minutes. The problem is when you go into your external clock on your Switch with this method and try and put your clock forward forward 72 minutes, you'll notice that this doesn't affect anything with the auction house. The items that these auctioneers do have will not change. But there is a method that you can use to change the items quite quickly in your copy of Skull and Violet. What you will need to do is come to the auction house and if the items here aren't something that you want to purchase what you can do is just save your game from this point make sure your auto saves are off obviously before you start this method then close your game completely come to your home menu shut the whole game down then come down into your system down to system settings down to date and time make sure your clock is off via the internet and then skip your time forward one hour and 12 minutes 72 minutes is the entirety of a day night cycle in the games so that's what we're essentially doing we're skipping forward one whole day in the games by going forward 72 minutes on our switch clock so that's all you're going to want to do then boot into the game once again and when you come back into the game you'll notice that the items for these auctioneers will have changed and all you need to do is just cycle through the same process close your game completely skip forward 72 minutes and then come back into the game check the items and hopefully eventually you will come across the auctioneers who will be selling one of these items now as you can see on Cerebi here here is a list of the items that you have available you're going to have the fast ball lever ball lure ball heavy ball love ball friend ball moon ball and dream ball you can also get gold bottle caps here which are only available as well in the ace academy tournament 
Unfortunately, the Beast Ball is not something that you're going to be able to purchase here. So you're only going to have access to this selection of the special Pokeballs. But for the majority of these, you're only going to have access to these Pokeballs. There are a bunch of lower cost items that you can get access to through the auction house here, including feathers, sandwich ingredients, and regular Pokeballs that you can get for good prices. But primarily, you're going to want to use this facility to get the more exclusive items, which are going to be the gold bottle caps and then all of these special exclusive pokeballs the apricorn balls and the dream ball so although this method can be quite time consuming i have done it for a long time and if you do this long enough you'll be guaranteed to start seeing these special pokeballs appear in the auction house the next caveat to this though is you're going to have to have a lot of money available because these Pokeballs, when they do become available, you're only going to be able to buy one at a time, but they are going to be extremely expensive. I would recommend you have at least 500,000 Poke Dollars sitting in your wallet because you're going to need about that much just to make sure that you don't miss out on the item when it does become available through the vendors now when a special pokeball does come available at one of the vendors what you can do is save your game save your game is the first thing you want to do at this point and then go into the auction try and win it if you're unsuccessful just restart your game don't do anything with your clock and then try and win that item again maybe get some extra funds sell some items that you've got or use the money farming guide that we've got on the channel to get yourself a bunch of cash. I will link it up in the top right hand corner now. That's what made this whole thing possible for myself, using that money farming guide to make sure that I do have enough funds. Because as you can see here, I've paid some absolutely ridiculous prices for these Pokeballs. I've had them as cheap as 220,000 Poke Dollars, but I've had them as expensive as half a million Poke Dollars, which just seems ridiculous for these special Pokeballs. But it's an easy way to get them in the games by using this method using just closing your game out skipping forward 72 minutes coming back into the game check checking them and then rinse and repeat until you do eventually stumble across these rare items that will populate in this area and as you can see here i have acquired quite a few of these special pokeballs in my game i've got three fast balls which is one of my favorite ones so this is really nice to get i've got a moon ball dream ball we've got the love ball as well which is an extremely rare one out of all of the date skipping that i've done i've only come across the love ball once out of everything so it might be a rare but I feel like all of the balls have this same chance of appearing. They're going to be a rarer item drop in the auction house here, but you will eventually be able to get all of them and you might have a bit more luck than I've had with getting your more favorite ball. Then you can go out and catch whatever Pokemon you want with these. And just a little bit of a tip as well, if you are going after a particular Pokemon, you might want a shiny Pokemon or anything like that. But when you do come to catch that Pokemon, just save in front of it if you are planning on using one of these special Pokeballs. If you fail to catch it with one of these balls, then you can just reset your game and then go and try and catch it again and repeat that process until you're able to get it in the particular ball that you want and you're not wasting them because of the amount of money that you're spending on these Pokeballs as well as the amount of time that you're taking to get them in the first place. So I hope this guide was useful, friends. Have a lot of fun trying to get these Pokeballs and I send in all of my luck your way to acquire these as quick as possible with a minimum amount of time adjustments on your Switch as well so if you have found this video useful please drop a like do subscribe to the channel for more pokemon scarlet and violet content and i will see you all for another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye